Hello and welcome to a demonstration tutorial for CSS and JavaScript Toolbox Pro. My name is Damien and in this lesson we're going to discuss how to create a new code block and the two major components of a code block being the code editor window and the assignment panel. So let's get started. Firstly we create a new code block by clicking this button here. We give it a name Uh, I'm just going to leave these as is. And as you can see, it's created our first code block, which is this entire panel here. Now, if we use this column of buttons as a guide, on the left hand side, this is where you write your code. It is called the uh, code editor window and it allows you to you know, type your, your JavaScript, your CSS, your PHP, or HTML code. And you want to be able to assign this code to a, you know, a section on your website. And this is where the assignment panel comes into play. It uh, allows you to assign your code to pages, posts. Now, I don't have any posts created as yet. Custom posts, again, no custom post defined. Categories, auxiliary. Now, this is interesting. This is a list of a lot of common requests. For example, you can assign your code to your entire website or the website backend, which is what we're looking at now. Um, all pages, all posts, you know, you've got your blog index, 404 error pages. So there's a lot of choice here for you. Uh, and the very last tab is the advanced section. And that allows you to assign your code to um, URLs and you would type one URL per line uh, and it also supports regular expressions again one expression per line so I'm going to um, get cracking on to creating some new pages, some posts, uh, custom posts, a new category and we're going to see how CJT will pull these new sections uh, into the assignment panel ready for you to type some code to assign to so let's get started with this, I'm going to create a new page. I'm just going to open up all these quickly. Uh, we're going to do a new category as well. Okay, so we'll just call this new page. I'll publish that. A new post, publish that. I'll just call it new category. And I'm going to use this plugin. It's a really good plugin called WCK Custom Fields and Custom Post Types Creator. It allows you to create very easily a custom post type, which I will just name book. Now we've got to write down the label for the singular and the plural. And this will create a new custom post type called books where I'm going to create a new book called new book. How original. Publish. I'm going to go back to CJT. I'm going to refresh this page. And we should now see all of these new items appear in the assignment panel. So we've got the new page which we've created, the new post which we created, the there's our custom post type called books. Now if I click that, there's the new book under the books custom post type. We've got our new category. So as you can see, it's just pulled all of these new items in um, dynamically and the flexibility doesn't stop there. You can even uh, assign your code to child or hierarchical pages and categories, which I just want to quickly demonstrate for you. Create a new page. I'll just call it new page two. I'm going to assign the parent about CJT and I'll create another one. New page three and also assign that to about CJT. Now if I refresh and we should see that it has now pulled the two child or hierarchical pages that we created underneath the parent about CJT page. Now if you were to have you know, 50 odd um, child pages 
and you wanted to assign some code to all of those child pages, you would have to check 50 of these checkboxes. We've made it easy and uh, created a shaded supplementary checkbox where when you click it, it will select all the child page items for you. Uh, unchecking will uncheck them all. Uh, of course, you can still check them individually, although we've included this function just to make life a bit easier. Before I wrap up this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to minimize and maximize code blocks. It is very simple. All we do is hover over this code block toolbar here and click. If you were to have many code blocks, which I'll demonstrate now by just adding a couple more, and one more, it wouldn't be ideal to click the individual code blocks and instead you can use these functions here to minimize all code blocks or maximize all code blocks. So this is quite handy when you you, know, you might have 10 or 20 code blocks you don't want to be scrolling all the way down the page to find a particular code block to edit. All you do is you minimize all your code blocks and then you look at your code block names and simply click the one you wish to edit. That concludes the video demonstration for CJT Pro. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.